Hello, I'm Landon Shungin, and today I'm making a quick video about database table relationships, and I am the instructor. And so there's going to be three different types of relationships. The first one is going to be a one-to-one. -one. The next one is a one-to-many, and then the third one is many-to-many. -many. To start off with one-to-one -one database relationship. Uh, so we have the customer table and we have the customer address table. Uh, this is just a one-to-one -one identity. So each one has a customer ID and customer address can be mandatory or optional data. Um, usually we don't see one-to-one -one relationships too often. They're mostly just for like convenience if we want to split up our data into different uh, uh, sections. One that we do see a lot though is one-to-many. In a one-to-many relationship, so here we have customer and the order table. So a customer has many orders. So the customer ID in the customer table is known as the primary key, and the customer ID in the order table is known as the foreign key. And usually there it comes with a foreign key constraint, so there wants to be a, a customer for this uh, order to be able to even be created. Uh, so here we have Sally. Sally would be a customer, and her customer ID would be one or two or whatever. And her name is Sally. Her phone number would be whatever her phone. And she has two orders connected to her, and that is through the customer ID. So she has an order for shoes, um, and let's say that order number is uh, 50, and then the order for a new phone is order number 100. And the customer ID would be her ID, which is like, which is one. So that's how that gets connected up. And then these orders have order date, and they also have a total amount on them. But we actually don't know the shoes, like there's no shoes on this. So how do we know uh, what this order is getting? Well, that's where this many-to-many -many relationship comes in. Here we have the order, which actually connects to the customer again. We have a product, which would be the shoe or the, uh, the socks or the, the phone. So an order has many products. Um, so here, this order has many products. And a product is ordered many times. So that's how we know that's many to many um, because both of them can have many things attached to them. So the order product table is called the pivot or join table, this one right here, because we need an extra table to be able to uh, connect these two together. And because of this extra table, many to many is a lot harder to deal with than one to many or one to one. So let's see how this would work. Uh, many to many continued. Here we would have the order for phone and socks. So this order has two products in it. And we have the product phone and product socks, which would be in this table. And they would have an ID of one, and let's say product socks has an ID of three. Those would go into here. Um, it'd be like pro product ID of one, and then let's say this order is uh, order ID one. So it'd be order ID one, product ID one. So then those would be connected the phone and the this order. And then for the socks, it would be product ID three, order ID one, so then those two are connected that way. For this one, it would be order for shoes and socks. So shoes would be product ID of two. So product ID of two, it'd be order ID of two, because this would be order two. And then socks would be product ID of three, and order ID of two, and that's how they get connected up. And then you get the unit price and the quantity. So we get the price of the socks plus the order. And it's also on this as unit price. And also the quantity of product that you want as well. So there's an order for two products and there's a product attached to two orders. That's another way we could think about it. And that's how we know that it's many to many. So that was a, just a quick video explaining uh, database table relationships. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. See ya. Bye.